Hello. Your hair looks nice. I think it's about a cut. Thanks, Jess. Then a lot off. What the heck? What the heck? What the heck? It's good. Good joke. Get That's it. That's a big box, actually. What's that thing in, um... Run, forest, run. You know what you're I got fried shrimp, coffee shrimp, <laughs> shrimp got on fried rice. sausage, oven sausage, <laughs> microwave sausage. Hey Jazz, hey Jazz, hey Jazz. Yeah? Jazz, Jazz, don't you think Heck have been uh, too kind? Here all week. What was the joke? Too kind. It's not going to be that epic. You're such a lemon. There's so many layers, it's like unwrap the parcel. Ooh. Ooh. What the heck? Oh my god, they did what the heck? Hey Joss, what the heck? Thank you Heck for the awesome uh, package. Also Jess, Jess, turn, catch. How's your catch? Ready? Hop. Nice. Nice. <laughs> what do you think? I bought you some cool wrist wraps. I'm trying to eat so that we can go and train. I'll leave you to it. Joss, gotta get it. Bob it, bob it. Quicker, quicker, quicker. Cap, so you don't want to drop it. It's kind of like block. timing as well, because you've got to kind of like bounce your hands without catching it. And, oh, you Are you not entertained? Oh. Is that why you were here? <laughs> we're listening to a proper classic. Get pumped for the gym. Lean and pump, lean and pump. Every time I come in the gym, it seems this song is playing and it's your playlist. Well, no, because you say it's normally grime, this isn't grime. Oh! Don't zoom in. Oh! Oh, kill him! Oh, kill him! Oh! Oh, it's alright! It's a little short now! Everyone thought with my hat on that they'd shave my head off. Head off? Shave my hair off. Pat the rower. <laughs> my banter is on point tonight. I'm loving that. No one else appreciated it around me, but I sure did. Pat the rower. Get it? Tonight, we've been roped into a 30 minute max row in a pair. One huge tip with the rower. Jazz, can you get the yeah. foot placement, especially on longer rows, is super that important. Is. The problem is if your feet are too high, when you come forward, your bum will round under and then you'll lose the power from your legs in the back. You want your feet to be at a level that when you come in, you can keep a nice neutral spine. <laughs> a better position core. And so you can, as we talked about in the core vlog before, it will be linked down below, but you can transfer power. And that's perfect for the row. So let's, let's row. You starting, Jazz? Me starting? <laughs> let's go, last bit, last bit, last bit. Oh yeah, pain face. Coming in hot. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well <laughs> Don't laugh, suck. Oh. Yeah, it did. Yeah. Oh. Really long. The main everywhere. 7,198 meters. Zero it, Nick. Zero it, Nick. Zero it, Nick. 7,478. It's the bottom one, Craig. It's the bottom one, 7,300. Oh, yeah, that's Projected. Chest forward a bit more at the bottom, bum out a bit more. Chest forward a bit more, bum out a bit more. There you go. Range of motion isn't the best. So we've put his foot rest like all the way down so we can allow more range of motion. But because his range of motion wasn't good, his lower bum was rounding, taking all the power out of his back. Show what you were doing before. Because you thought you thought you were upright. This was you rowing before. Now do what I've just shown you. Chest comes forward, bum bum stays out. It's much nicer. Yeah. One of my biggest tips for rowing. Is this on? I guess. I'm not a rower, <laughs> so I'm not going to say like, oh, this is how you do it, but this is a super simple tip for a lot of people that oh, see in the CrossFit box, much. row wrong. It may be due to mobility issues, or it may just be yeah. being freaking lazy. Like, if you're a lazy rower, it shows, and it means you just have to work harder. So being lazy actually makes you work harder. 
common problems. People think that they have to get as much pull on the rope as possible. So when they come in, they'll come all the way here. And then when they drive, I'll be here. And you look like you're on a seesaw. When you left, come on, hold on. It's just gonna be a lot of effort and you're not in a strong kind of like mid range. Here, you're weak and you put your back on a lot of strain. Here, okay, you're fully opened up, which is great if you're in a sprint, but for kind of longer distance rowing, I don't think it's great. Another thing that I see with Jazz, Jazz was doing it, you're very back dominant. So when you come back, I might not be able to do this. You open up, you're full drive. So you'll do this. That completely ruins your legs. You're putting a lot of power on your back, but it just, it takes out the most powerful muscles in the body for you to row. So you do this. It's like you're yanking the rower. What you want to do is like exactly like the bottom of a clean, it's the bottom of a snatch. When you get into that bottom position, you don't want to come all the way in, so you lose the, like any power. You want to come to a good position, chest nice and upright, bum moves out at the same time as you push. And then you just extend. Because that bum coming back first is where you're getting the drive. And the most important thing is when you get absolutely knackered is to not put more effort in, in terms of pulling, put more effort in and keep in a good strong position. Maybe increase your speed, don't pull as hard, you'll still go as fast. I was averaging 139 on every one of the 500s, I was pretty happy about that. Considering I haven't had been able to row with my back for a while, so the air bike with my legs paid off. Air bike man, build your engine for everything. Running on Saturday, <sighs> rowing today, felt good. Felt really good. Jazz leaving the water bottle and the jumper outside. Let's see if Savage Craig was here right now. Oh, you know, what would you do without me? Found it. <laughs> <laughs> and then I dropped it on the floor anyway. <laughs> Baron bought a Bulldog Year air bike, and how is it? Yeah, it's uh, I have a love hate relationship. Really? I love the idea, I hate you when I'm on it. Nailed it. <laughs> you should be a salesman. It's true. I love the idea. Hate it when I'm on it. Yeah. It's true. <laughs> Honestly, I'm, like, I'm, I'm the same work. every morning. I'm like, Oh, I should. Oh, it's a really good idea to get up early and do some cardio on the air bike, and then I'm like, it's a really bad idea. <laughs> we had 13 staff from work on it, got them all on there, and most of them can't do it over about 25, 30 seconds. Just Wait, hold cute. on a second. Is it at your work? Yeah, it's at work. Oh my god. No way. You've not seen the pictures of it? No. No, I'll it's insert the pictures here. So Darren has actually put his air bike not at his house, but in his yeah, workplace. Work. Get up every morning. You should give them an incentive, like if they get a certain <laughs> amount of calories for whatever, they, you'll increase yeah, their bonus. wages. Yeah, yeah, yeah bonus. Yeah. <laughs> dun 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 dun. <laughs> Jeff, don't quit doing mobility. <laughs> No, that, that's actually his t-shirt, but it's my elbow sleeve, my shorts and my shoes. Nick's so much of my clothes. Doing the little accessory muscles again. I'm not going to bore you guys with it. Just Darren, we do know the little muscles now. <laughs> that doesn't affect me, I've only got little muscles anyway. <laughs> Banter. <laughs> he cracked a funny. Cracked a funny. Are you really doing accessories if you don't have country music on? Probably not. Luke Combs, when it rains it pours, he's just released a music video. It's a really good music video, it's a really good song. Whoa. Whoa, what's that? I've never seen that core exercise before on this channel. This is a horrible band. Because he found the black band difficult, <laughs> but I'm not. I'm not quitting. Savage, calling me out. I'm not quitting. I'm going to use the black band too. It's like, well, you sat there in the kitchen watching it, thinking, you know, Alex Peace Piss is really simple. Doesn't have the appreciation. No, it doesn't. It doesn't have the appreciation for the... But that is tough. <laughs> it is tough. Core. Yeah, three rounds of that. I feel like I've done a hundred setups, honestly. It feels really hard. Living the dream. <laughs> That's what we're here to do, educate. Make the team strong. We're like the biggest team on YouTube, but we're also going to be the strongest and the most injury-free team on YouTube. And that's saying a lot for CrossFitters. G'day, Darren. Stay up. Uh, 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 <laughs> 
Send him off. Say hey, Darren. Darren is a subscriber slash friend and when he's in the area for work he just messages me and says gonna come train. I'm like, for sure. Team, if you're ever in the Levington Warwick area and you wanna get a workout in, drop me a message. Go down and when I'm around, I can see him smile. Get it, Jazz. Here she goes. She's on it. And she's got a hand on the bar. She swings and she's up. Killing it. Crowd goes wild. One more. Get it. Get it. Get it. Nice. Nice. Oh. So you feel so defeated. You go up so slowly. It's like. Ooh, ooh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. Game over. Au revoir, amigos. Bye, Karen. Ah. <laughs> At the moment, I'm actually thoroughly enjoying my training, even though we're doing kind of the same every <laughs> same same thing every single day. Is because this is the way you should kind of look if you ever get injured or niggles or tweaks or things like that. The reason why is because obviously something is going wrong with your body. There's some mechanical movement errors or some structural errors and obviously kind of the other one that I'm not referring to here but if you do something stupid yes you get injured and it sucks the way I kind of look at this kind of niggle that I have on my shoulder I've had this shoulder issue from when I was bodybuilding I watched some of the videos back and the shoulder has always 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 been higher yes. dad's revising again oh, I've got to and I brought a duvet set uh, yeah. it's got flamingos all over it can you believe I spent nine pounds on that I don't know why I agree to some things. But as I was saying, these kind of imbalances and these things that when I first started CrossFit weren't a problem for me. Things that I kind of neglected, didn't look at, just kind of was like, yeah, that's, that, will, that will sort itself out. Um, those niggles, now that my movement is getting a lot better, things would like clean. When I'm putting 140 kg above my head, these things that before weren't a problem to me, because I was only putting 100 kg above my head, now they've turned into a problem and it's because I've ignored them because I'm an idiot. But basically, my whole point of this is, yeah, I've had a couple of de down days when I've been w with kind of these these troubles. I've been like moping around and, oh, I can't do this, I can't do that in the gym. It's like, uh, I wanna be able to make some freaking epic cool content for people that were squatting and massive cleaner jerks. But in all honesty, the most of the time, I, like you have to spin things and actually look at the positive side of it saying like yeah okay maybe I couldn't do these things in the past and I've had these niggles but now I have actually a chance to reprogram my body to move in a certain way and do things better than before and also be more efficient than before which makes you stronger in movements more efficient in movement and a better overall mover take on point do not ignore your imbalances and think they're gonna go away <laughs> okay that's kind of the point I'm getting at and point number two is there's always a plus side to a negative thing. If you're injured, it may have happened for a reason, and now you get to fix that reason so you actually come back stronger. Just don't get injured by doing something stupid. Like what you see all over CrossFit Fails videos. Okay, cool. Everything happens for a reason. There's a reason why you're so short. Savage. I like being short. I don't know why you say it as a negative thing. You should be like, oh, just because you're so short. Mm. I personally find it a positive. <laughs> it didn't take as long to get perfect. Yeah, yeah. You only grow until you're perfect, right? And Jazz stopped growing very early. So <laughs> she's hit her perfection and she's actually Ooh. on her way down now. Hey. Sorry, savage. And on that note, thank you guys for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, I was actually pretty surprised I managed to make a vlog tonight and the whole vlog and I'm gonna cook some burgers. We will Catch you guys in the next. What? Living the dream. Come on, Jasmine. No, I don't. Follow. Do the resistance is strong tonight.